Hello everyone, this is MCOM bringing you another episode of our Dragon Age Origins DLC. Uh, we have taken care of the Awakening campaign. We have uh, gone through the Darkspawn Chronicles, Leliana's Song, which leaves just Witch Hunt and the Golems of Amgarak. Uh, now, right now I am recording with OBS and I messed around with some settings, uh, which is a dangerous thing for me to do because I don't really know what I'm doing. But I think what I'm doing is alright for the moment. So we're going to go ahead and try out the Golems of Amgarak. See how that goes for us. It is, uh, I, I've heard it is very difficult. Can we import our character? We can. We can import Durin. Or we can import Durin. Or Alim was my um, mage that I never finished up. Uh, let's import the extra special Durin. Advanced? What's that? Oh, you can get him from different saves. Okay. Yep, we'll bring in Durin. Jarek Dace of Orzammar has written to you in the hopes that you will help him locate an expedition that has been lost somewhere in the Deep Roads. Oh. They called it Amgarok. Victory. Out of arrogance or optimism. They hope to earn a victory for the Dwarven people by recreating Karadin's research. But the tide was abandoned. The researchers lost. The Deep Road swallowed Omgarok in the dream of reclaiming our former glory. While the Dark Spawn ravaged the surface, we sent an expedition to uncover the Tig. My brother was with them. They never returned. I write to you, Warden, because you have accomplished things others have declared impossible. Help me find my brother and bring him home. This is a matter of great sensitivity and I can trust no one but you. Ever your humble servant, Jarek Dace. I wonder if he's related to Lord Dace. Alright. Ooh! A Bronto. Thank you again for helping me, Warden. Everyone else had given up, but I couldn't abandon Brogan. He's my brother. I apologize for insisting that you come alone. House Dace does not want the location of Amgarok known to the rest of Orzammar. You're being awfully secretive about it. House Dace sacrificed many men to discover this place. Any knowledge found here should be ours to do with as we please. Of course, Brogan is my primary concern, but Amgarak hides secrets. Great ones. Are you expecting trouble? An expedition of over 20 men doesn't just disappear. There's something in there, and I'm guessing it's not friendly. Just be prepared for anything. Why well, ask for my help? Haramont told me you were <laughs> the one to look for. He said if anyone could save Brogan, you could. Let's move on, then. Amgarok is not too far ahead. Okay. Specializations. We've just leveled up a pair. Oh, okay. He's leveled up. Uh, specializations from a base class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Codex updated. Seneschal Garavel's missive. Warden Commander, we recently received a message from one Jarek Dace of Orzammar. He requests your aid in locating an expedition lost in a place called Amgarok, somewhere in the Deep Roads. Ooh, Garavel became Seneschal? That's kind of interesting. After Veril died? Huh. Okay, controls we don't really need to worry about. That's odd, they had it all spread out like this in Liliana's song, too. And characters. Why is there 186 possible slots? Jarek Dace. He is a noble from House Dace and a distant cousin of Lord Anward Dace. There we go, distant cousin. He was unable to go on the Amgarok expedition, and now feels responsible for his brother going missing with the rest of the men. However, he does not believe his brother, Brogan, is dead, and has enlisted the help of the Grey Warden to find him. Okay. Alright. Oh, you're also a rogue. Well, that's not good. Uh, what kind of rogue are you? Looks like you are a dual weapon rogue. Okay. And you need more dexterity to make use of it. You've got the lethality. 
so where did all your points go into? You don't have that much cunning. Ugh, you put extra into strength. How could you? Alright, let's try uh, Shadow. Let's see how that goes. Um, oh, you don't have any stealth? Seriously? Man, you're like the worst. I don't want you on my team. Alright. This mode continues stamina constantly, but each hit reduces their interest in the attacker. That's not actually what I need. Wow, I don't I don't know if I like you. Let's go ahead with Legionnaire Scout. Oh, you've got Ranger stuff that you haven't put anything into? Oh, you've already got the uh, the Bronto, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, Mark of the Legion. Okay, large bonuses to strength and constitution. That can't hurt. But strength stone will be the, the one that defines you, I do believe. Alright, hello, Snug the Bronto. You look pretty neat. You've got charge and taunt. Alright. Well, I... Wait, what? Oh, that's your uh, summon? Okay, summon Bronto. Cool. I'm probably going to have to go around this place with my spider out then. There we go. As much as I hate it, because we're only a two-man party. Alright, then rapid shot. And suppressing fire, and most importantly, accuracy. That bumps up our stats a little bit. I seem to have lost a little in attack. Still got my heartwood bow, excellent. Excellent. Okay. Memor Memoirs of the First Warden. This tome allows the reader to realo reallocate his or her attributes, skills, talents, spells, and specializations. Oh! Oh! Can Jarek use it? Why, yes he can! Alright, let's try you again, Jarek. We're going to make you a Shadow Ranger. Alright, keeping your strength low will bump cunning way up. Uh, dexterity needs to go really far. Like 50s far. Uh, cunning should be at least 40. Constitution and willpower. Okay, let's try that. I'm liking this better. You don't need any skill in lock picking because I can already pick locks. Poison making would be useful though. Definitely need combat training. Some health. A little bit of extra stamina. Um combat tactics isn't going to hurt. And then let's finish out vitality and there we go. Okay. This is much better. Right, you need combat movement, coup de grace, and death. Uh, let's wait on those. But these three, you definitely need an evasion is good. Uh, stealth seems like it would be excellent to have here. Dual weapon. Let's go ahead and put things in there. Good. Okay, then we don't need to worry about archery. Now, we got ten left. Uh, I hope you keep your summon Bronto stuff. Because I'm going to put these into shadow. Let's see what that does. So shadow form, we already went over that. Decoy, you're a master of misdirection, creating a personal decoy that keeps enemies occupied for a short time while the actual character escapes in stealth. Shadow striking, experienced in ambush and deception, gaining a large bonus to backstab damage while using shadow form. Okay, which is that. So as a permanent bonus to melee crit chance. Pandemonium. Releases an airborne toxin that confuses all enemies within range, causing them to either flee or attack random targets. Nice! I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, we're going to keep all those. Heart Seeker. Uh, ghost is good. Weak points, definitely. And Flicker. Don't quite have enough dexterity. We'll let you level up later. Combat movement will be useful. Wider flanking angle. Coup de gras. Um... When they're stunned or paralyzed, very nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and add that in then. And feign death, why not? 
Alright, yes, you still have your Bronto. Good. You seem to have lost all your armor, though. And your weapons. Uh, Dumont's Claw. That looks like a good uh, dagger to wield. Can't use the... Oh, that's why he had strength. So he could use uh, all that stuff. I understand now. And I really hope the stuff you were wearing didn't require strength that you no longer have. That's unfortunate. Now I understand. Well, you might have to go with this for the moment. Sorry. Alright, no more rings. But that's okay. Alright, so that puts your armor really, really low. But defense is good, attack is good, damage is pretty decent. Alrighty. Let's move on. This is Snug. He'll be helping us. Okay, Bronto named Snug. Years ago, Jarek saved a young, injured Bronto from the Darkspawn. The Bronto took to Jarek immediately and refused to leave his side. It even started sleeping under Jarek's bed, even though the space was far too snug for it. Jarek started calling the Bronto Snug, and the name stuck. Snug is extremely protective of Jarek and will defend him to the death. Okay. Yeah, what's coming up? Slaughter Something party. Something about this place makes me uneasy. You and me both, buddy. I shall do it. Expert Dwemer rune. As you say. Potent health poultice. Excellent. It has begun. Chastened arm. Okay. Whoa, wait. Oh, I thought it was plus eight damage. It's plus eight attack. Okay. Alrighty. Deep roads are interesting as ever. We'll just hit you all up with a scatter shot. I definitely miss Anders. Oh, oh. Hello. I've been paralyzed. And ouch. Stunned. That hasn't happened in a long time. And he's down. Alright, Genlock Emissary, let's hit you. As you say. You could use to go down. There we go. And now the Alpha. I the critical shot! Good, good. Excellent. Wow, he managed to take out my spider. Darkspawn. Our men will not have fallen to such a modest number of Darkspawn. There's something more sinister here. I hope so. Okay, well, I will resummon my spider in a minute, so then I'll take the bear out. You, however, could use to bring the Bronto back in. Okay, and then have a lesser injury kit. Okay, so already this is proving to be more difficult than normal. I need my Song of Courage up. Uh, yes. Attack, damage, and critical chance. That brings me... There we go. Attacks up to 205. That's what I was missing earlier. Never seen anything like this. It's not right. Hello. Come on. Where's my disarm... Gotta be able to disarm it. Oop, oop. There it is. Come on. Come on. This is so annoying. I saw you right over here. Come on. Where's the disarm notification? Oop, oop. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. Shriek! And scatter shots! Be done. There we go, now they're not easy. Good, good. I... Well done. Look, the mist is shifting. Hmm. Mist filled chambers. You're not wrong. Yes, 
Yeah, it's not gonna let us that way. Huh. Interesting. Hello? We must be getting close to Umgarok. Runic Golem. Came across an intact deactivated golem. If you can find its control rod, you could gain a powerful ally. Oh, it's nice, a bunch of runes. This is one of Keridan's golems. But modified. They must have experimented on existing golems in Ungarok. Maybe they also learned the secret to building new ones. Uh, maybe we'll find something deeper in. I wonder if this golem is still functional. There might be a control rod somewhere. Okay. So come back when we find the control rod. Let's hope this mist lets us proceed then. How handy that it does. Can't go that way yet. Oh, okay. Golem control rod. Look at that. That's easier than I thought. Ah, that would be why. Turn around, Barry! Okay. Stay there. Injured one. Hello. You're not supposed to be here. Good job. You don't have a lot of health, do you? 380 compared to 440. Well, you got a decent amount. Just there. don't seem to uh, keep it. Is that the control rod for a golem? I shall do it. Why, yes it is. Let's go ahead and activate our friend. I'm gonna save quick. Alright. And over here. Hello, Mr. Golem. This golem will be a great help. Let's go. Hey, I leveled up! Yay! Alright. Let's increase cunning. And... Dexterity. A new talent. Right, I ran out of things that I wanted, so I went ahead and got stealth. <laughs> Learn to fade from view, although perceptive enemies may not be fooled. Taking any action beyond movement, including interacting in combat or using items, will still attract attention. I initiate combat while stealth. My first strike is an automatic crit or backstab. Now I've learned how to use items while sneaking. Next level lets me uh, try sneaking during combat. And then I get a significant bonus on all stealth checks. Okay. Cool. Hello, Runic Golem. You seem like you will be very useful. Let us proceed. Okay. Uh, nope. That's the way we... Yeah, that's the way we came. So now we need to head out this way-ish. There we go. More of them. Okay, that's weird. Where did they go? Warden, did you see where they went? What? Where did they go? That's really weird. Hello? Someone's here. Okay, something's definitely going on here. It's a triggered trap there. I'm starting to see some. Hmm. Master Lyrium Potion. It'd be nice if we had a mage. Strange things. I'm not comfortable here, Warden. You and me both seen strange things. Apparently this is a strange corridor. Okay. What kind of is this? Hello, Deep Stalkers. Wait, what? My Stalkers are running scared. From what? That's not a good sign at all. <laughs> Something going on over there. And we can't get through here. Huh. Hello? 
There we go. Well, this is a mystery that we might just have to solve in our next episode. Thank you all for coming along with me. And until next time, bye all.